and imagine just see as everything is just me say 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 eh if everything in this country is just as neat as the way they are just imagine the way they are smiling who are they deceiving anyway let's go into the news proper open letter to mr president for non-payment of manual and financial administration mafa for the armed forces of nigeria 2017 and bad payment system mr president sir with pains in my heart, I wish to draw your attention to the, in a, to the misappropriation of armed forces budget. No doubt in recent times that you and your winning team hmm, have been working tirelessly to ensure that all the security challenges in Nigeria is resolved and one of the major players is to this goal is the armed forces. Mr. President, you realize that if we must win the war against insecurity, then there is need to take care of the welfare of the armed forces and you approved the manner of financial administration MAFA for the armed forces of Nigeria 2017. MAFA document was signed by the president in January 2018 with the aim to improve the performance and troops welfare. The MAFA was through aside since 2018 not until a whistleblower by the Twitter handle at Millicent blew us in December 2019 and only the and only for the DHQ to issue a statement claiming that the whistleblower was wrong that the MAFA document has not been activated and therefore yet to be implemented. The DHQ further stated that the provision of MAFA documents is billed to be operational in year 2020. Finally in January 2020 MAFA kicked off because no more way to hide. It will interest you, sir, that the MAFA document was only partially implemented. The service use agreed not to implement the MAFA document fully. They set up a joint technical committee comprises of three services and reviewed majority of the allowances downward. Meanwhile, all this money has been included in the budget. For instance, scarce keys, skill allowance, combat duty allowance recently paid to troops private to corporate soldiers were paid 20,000 naira instead of 100,000 naira flat rate. Why others like Operation Allowance MAFA approved 5,000 naira daily. It was reviewed also downward to 2,500 naira daily, which is yet to be paid. Rather, only 1,500 naira was paid to troops for January 2020 Operation Allowance. Likewise, approved ration Ration cash allowance by MAFA document is 2,000 Naira daily. This was also reviewed downward by the service chiefs to 1,200 Naira. Sir, I only mention these few aspects of the MAFA document above to enable you to understand the nature of the embezzlement ongoing in the armed forces and the question that bubbles in my, my mind is why are the service chiefs going against your good wish for the armed forces? Are they trying to sabotage your efforts in trying to improve the performance and welfare of the troops? Are they trying to cause hatred to your administration? Did you do bad in putting them in position to do the job of the service chiefs? Why will the president approve the content of MAFA documents and signed by himself and now they are going against it? Why is money released to the armed forces in the budget for troops and they refuse to implement if the president is aware of this development, why is he not taking action? All these questions and many more needed to be answered. IPPIS have the good way to implement the directive of the president, but the military, finance and service chiefs are causing confusion. The service chiefs on one hand refuse to allow IPPIS to fully implement the monthly salary and allowance of their troops. By rights, all allowance with regular nature like the scarce ski allowance is a monthly payment and should be paid by the IPPS and not military finance. On the other hand, the recent confusion being experienced by the IPPIS could be attributed to the misinformation given to IPPS by the military finance, most especially the armed, for, armed finance. They are confusing IPPS with figures because of the nature of the finance that pays personal, personal monthly salaries with things like courses attended, rank, steps, and so on. That is why you will see 
army personnel with the same rank but different salaries. It is because the IPP IS depend on the military finance for such data that was that was why they gave the confusion so that nobody will be talking about other monthly allowance. Many army personnel were short paid for January 2020 and IPPIS are yet to refund. All this has made many army personnel not to even know what is their really salary because since IPPIS started, they have been short paid. This is causing bitterness among the personnel. My plea to you, sir. Please ensure armed forces implement the MAFA documents in full and monthly payments and allowance should be handed over to IPPIS while the military finance should continue with payments of allowance that are periodic in nature such as RCA, DTA and LT and T among others. Please, Nigerian media, help share this letter until it gets to President Muhammad Buhari. Thanks for your usual cooperation. Copra Lagbaja Tamola hmm. and it was written on February 19, 2020. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, the other day I was saying uh this uh, this whole thing that these uh, people are not allowed to talk most times. I don't know how they try to relate their pain and how they are feeling and their welfare to the authority because in any little thing they will say oh, it is mutiny and what have you. Uh, of course, this person is still in service, and that's why he's just trying to be careful, you know, try to put everything uh, in uh, accordingly to use nice words and what have you. Of course, he's not going to do lesser than that. But Nigerians, you and I know that the president is not in charge. He doesn't know what is happening. He doesn't know what is happening. This man is not aware of all the things happening under him. All of these things, he's not aware. Something is, is fishy. In that a uh, 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 presidency, in that so villa, a lot of things are going on that he's not aware of, and that is why uh, Namde can always come in out to say that man is not the real man. You know that is his uh, submission, and with all these things that have been happening, and like I said, even if people don't even want to take a Namde uh, case for example, what about the wife that has been saying that <laughs> if the wife could come out and say? They have hijacked, uh, I hijacked the, the government from my husband. And also, the recent uh, accusation he levied against uh, this man, Gabashew, that the Gabashew, the, the whatever that the husband gave, the directives that the husband has been giving, Gabashew has not been taking it. Rather, he goes to the Kabas, the Abakiare and Mama Dawra to take directives, which is not supposed to be. And she doesn't have a pillow talk with her husband. She does not have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the man. Because if she does, definitely she will not be coming out and be telling Nigerians they would have settled that at home. So it's a pity that uh, this whole thing is even happening to all these uh, the soldiers that are really there, sacrificing everything, their life. Do you know? You are not even talking of uh, all that you have worked for. Life is more important, much more important than anything that you can think of, whether property or what have you. Life is much more important. These guys, th that is what these guys have sacrificed and they are still sacrificing. And that's been said. We're still going to come back to the president because he doesn't know what is happening and it's very, very unfortunate. But another thing is that you can even imagine the kind of a, the salary and allowances given to them. Very, very pathetic. It's a sorry state. And we have people who call themselves, who go to, to National Assembly, the politicians, See the kind of money they they uh, accrue to themselves. They separate for themselves. They budgeted for they budget for themselves. And Sarap Sarap is trying to sue them or going against them that the Bajabia Mila and the rest they want to buy a, another car. What of how many billions? Onto what? Doing what? They are not doing anything. Our our senators are not doing anything. They are, they just go there to sit down. We cannot be we cannot be be politically correct. That is just what it up it, it's happening. And that is what has been going on. You cannot be there and you are expect us to be to 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 have a, a decorum, to be politically correct, that uh, we should not say that. Why Nigerians are suffering? And you are there doing what? Doing nothing. Because if Nigerians, if you are doing the right thing, Nigerians will not be suffering. The state of the nation will not be like that. If you are doing your job and at the end of the day, you collect all manner of salaries. What are you doing? You are doing nothing compared to these uh, soldiers. Compared to our police. And that's why you say, oh, police are, are doing this. Our, their welfare. 
you know, it's not being taken care of, especially police that are always on the road. Yeah, that they are, they are, they are, they are prone to any form of a, a attack and what have you. Let's say lone soldiers. Do you know what those guys are doing? Do you know the kind of job they are doing? Like I said, they are not even sacrificing their or their what they have worked for. We are talking about life here, and we see our politicians getting all manner of this. And who are the people in charge of this uh, salary uh, arrangements? Who are the people? Who are the people? What kind of a devilish constitution is this? The people who are supposed to be receiving the highest salaries in this country are supposed to be first army. Then you talk about doctors and, and what have you. Then you talk about lecturers. But all of those ones who are, who are dead, they are just there to, 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 majority of them are dead to steal. Even the constitution has even made it for them to, to, to steal. And that's why they don't want to con uh, change the constitution. You can imagine, it's, it also just be collecting 1,500, 200 to put sort of upon injury. This uh, so, the, the so-called service chiefs, see what they are doing too. Cutting their salary, cutting what is it? Peanuts, they are cutting even what is even it's even shameful. And then our soldiers are being paid 1,005, 2,005, 5,000 naira, and you are still cutting it. Hey, no wonder they don't want them to be changed, they know what they are doing. But for this uh, particular person, this uh, army personnel, this soldier personnel that wrote this in uh, you know what is happening. The man who is there is not in, he's not the one in charge, he's not the one in charge. But even before now. If the salary structure has been done properly, even it would have been done before this, uh, I don't know, before this present administration, you know, came, uh, uh, came in. Because at the end of the day, how are they able to put that salary structures? Now the president is saying what the lawmakers are receiving is uh, is not too big. It's not outrageous that they are receiving the salary and it is okay. Somebody who was talking about it uh, on how to cut costs, who was even against them when Saraki was there. But now because his people are there, both upper and lower chamber, they are there. Now he's saying the salary is okay. What they are receiving, what they are they doing, we cannot see anything. Because, you know, it's rub your back, I rub my back. Because I, by so doing, whatever he tells them to do, they will impl implement it for them. But may they, may they wait now. All the thing rubbish that they implement, be they see ways Nigerians are going to be waiting for them. No matter how they want to prove stubborn, they want to make it seem as if uh, Nigerians cannot do anything. One day, monkey go go market, so you know, go come back. That's just the way it is. Monkey go go ma market, you know, go come back. See what they are paying our, 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 our soldiers. We are even talking, oh my god, it's very, very unfortunate. So, the particular, this particular man that wrote this in there, you know what is. What is playing out? I'm sure they just want Nigerians to know because they know that the president is not even aware of this thing. He's not the one in charge. And you see the service, you see what they are doing. See what they, our, our soldiers are being paid. And see what our politicians are taking as a take home. So guys, please, uh, we are begging you, let this video go viral. Please share it. It is very, very important because at the end of the day, it will see uh, uh, bounce back on us. It will see back, uh, come back to us if we don't say anything, if we don't allow people to see what is happening, to know what is happening. Please share this video. It's very important. It's very, very important because it's very, very pathetic. Very, very pathetic. These guys are going through hell. They are going through hell. If all of these people say, no, I'm, I don't want to work again, everybody just says, I want to quit. I want to quit uh, the soldier. I don't know whether it is, uh, uh, it is, it, it is by force to be there uh, for the rest of your life. I don't know how it works. You can tell us from the conversation. Because if all of them say no, 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 we are not working again. We want to resign. Do you know what is going to, how, what is going to cost? Do you know what we, what we have, how it will affect you and I? So please, that is why we need to share this video so that it will go round. It will go round. Whether the the president is not hearing, maybe they will now have to open his ears and tell him, tell him, put mouth in his ear and tell him what is happening. Or Nigerians will come out and and and, and demand the right thing from them. So guys, uh, let us have your take. That is just my opinion. Let's have your take on this issue. Leave your comments below in the comment section. Thank you very much for always being there. Bye.